that makes your van go really wild is when you give it that puck <coughs> new oil so what you will need for this is definitely the oil okay in my case I go with the 5w30 this is uh, better if you have a uh, diesel engine uh, like I have uh, if you have a gasoline you may go with the 40 this works from minus 25 degrees Celsius up to plus 25 degrees Celsius the uh, 5W40 uh, can work in an additional 10 Celsius plus. You may need a funnel to fill it up depending on uh, what package or bottle or uh, whatever you are buying, okay? You will need an oil filter and in this case I go with the Male. It's the OX823-6D. A new bolt may be needed. Maybe not on this one because it only has a little bit over 6,000 kilometers and it's only two years old. This one, however, will not be needed on my van. I know a lot of you may need it uh, to get the lid off to where to put in the oil filter. But in this case, instead I need to go with this one. This is a 27 mil that we just go on top and release it. You also may need a lamp to see what you're doing underneath the van. And you will need one of these uh, to capture all the oil. After the oil is changed, I'm going to fill up this one, the add bin. Some people, they empty the tank. Some people, they fill it up. It's different schools. Let's get started. I have the drain system here, uh, but it's for water. And since I am parked in front of the house, I'm just going to cover up the little bit here. That will do it. This one comes here. Depending on what you have on your van, it may look like this. You may have a cover here. Some vans come without the cover, but if you have it, you just let go of this here and then you turn it and it comes down like this. And there you have it, the oil plug. It may also be that you will need to find additional tool for this. I don't have a workshop, so I need to go with this one, which I'm just going to attach like this. Then I have another tool here that I just connect here, so I can now twist it. Make sure it's closed here in the bottom, so nothing comes out there. Then you open it here, where the oil is going to come in. You can also open this one, which is the drain system, like for air. So oil in, air out. Just give it a little twist, like that, so it comes loose. Then I'm just going to release it by hand, like this. And... Off we go. There we go. It's very much speed on this one. It runs very smoothly. And that is because I had the van up and running for a few minutes before I emptied this. So I will just let it drip for like two more minutes. Check this out. I can see the oil right there. Now, this back on. And the air plug back on. You now when I, when I shake it a bit, I can feel that it's up to here somewhere. So, one container of this for 10 liters is definitely enough then. So now it's dripping very slow here, more or less one per second. So I'm going to put this plug back and I'm going to use the same because it's in really, really good condition. So it's not needed to, to change this actually. And uh, since this is the first oil change of the van, I mean, everything is just so new and fresh. And this one. And there. And then back with the lid here. Just twist it on. 
and there we have it. And then the filter should be changed, which is down there. So to be able to reach down here, I mean, I can push this aside, but it's still, it's very, very tight there. So what I'm thinking about is just take this box off so I can operate here. And that's done pretty easy. You just have to release this one. You just push under there and lift it up. And there you have it. It's for the 12 volt power. If you need to like uh, jumpstart another van, and then you do the same with the oil. You just push under there and it comes off like this. You just put it there. And then you just need to take this off. So what you do is that you release this one with a screwdriver. So you take this off and also you take the sensor off. What you do is that you push this white small thing backwards and then you release it in the bottom there. And on the other side here, you have also a lot of cables. You just go in underneath, push it and lift this one up. And then it comes off like this. And then you just take this out like this. And look at this. Here I have more nice access. So the 27 mil, I ordered it on Amazon. It was more or less 12 euro so just put it down here and then take the very long arm here it fits in it and then give it a twist there it comes loose now I can let go of the tooth there there it comes okay look at this I mean I have seen worse so old filter just pop it out like this and then you want to change this small ring here so you just take the old one off then you can take a little bit of the oil that is inside here and just smoothen up the the new ring so it slides on nicely it comes there then you just squeeze it on around the hole it comes like this then you take the filter pop it in there it may be a little bit tight because the hole in the bottom of this one is smaller than this one. So another tip is that you take the mark on top here and line it up with the blue ring because then you know exactly how to put it in. And then just twist it by hand like this. You take your tool here and just twist it a little bit here. There, I think it's good. It says on it here 25. Okay, so, but I don't have the key. But I know in which direction this was when I started. And you can also go with a little bit of, you know, feeling. I mean, if you have done it before, you know more or less when it's correct. And then you come with your big ass box here again. Just pop it back in. Like this. Just make sure that you get it right so you have no leaks. For example, around this one, you can see it's very easy to just put the rubber back on there in with this feet here and just click it on there. And then you take your plate here and just put it on like in reverse. Just click it back there like that. Good. You take this one, which is for the oil. Just click it back here and the 12 volt comes here. Now you come with a sensor here, click it back on like that in with a small white thing that locks it 
now you take the pipe right there screwdriver and after that you will need to put all the new fresh oil in here you can use a funnel if you want in my case i have one that looks like this which is not a funnel if you buy the bigger ones like five liters and something it usually comes with a funnel built in liters I put it in here and I have three liters left but I just have a feeling that this engine contains less than 12 and a half liters need to go inside and check okay. it's running smooth and there are no leaks here Look at this, how nice, huh? Here is the old oil. And here is the new oil. You can clearly see the difference. I think I was Googling a little bit too fast because in my old van, which had 190 horsepowers, it was a V6. It was like 12 and a half liters. And I was like, oh, same on everyone. But in this one, 10 liters, okay. Uh, as you saw on the level, it's not all the way up, which it should not be because when the engine gets warm and when you are driving, the oil expands a bit. Make sure that you don't dump the oil like in the nature or something. Go to like a gas station or a container park or something to get rid of it. Okay, next up is to reset the settings here after the oil change. So I'm just going to switch it off like this. So just a, a quick tap on this one, like that comes up to here and then I'm going to see the mileage there and then hold the arrow and a quick tap on the center button and there you have it the menu like hidden menu and then you go down here to assist plus go in there switch on the ignition and then you come into this and go down to like full service click on that and then confirm service down here. Then you can pick, if you want to pick any of these uh, oil grades here, you can do it. Just going to pick the first one here. Service carried out. And if you click now, yes, come here. Make sure that you know what you are doing because once you click confirm here, you cannot, uh, it cannot be undone, right? So you will need to go to like a Mercedes workshop to fix this shit. And if I press confirm now, okay, full service carried out, check. So now it's all set, 6,384 kilometer. Top. Next up, I'm going to fill up this, the add blue, or you can call it DEF, DEF, call it whatever you want. It was a little bit close to the like red line. I've seen people on YouTube and they are like, make sure that you fill it up here where it says add blue in the blue cap. And I'm like, okay, uh, how idiot can you be if you fill it up somewhere else? Right. I think the door is open. It's going up. 10 liters and it's more or less full. So what is done in service A is the add blue to fill that up or to like replace all of it. You can also choose to empty the whole tank if you want, okay? We have done the oil replacement plus the oil filter. Uh, fluid level inspection, it's all fine all uh, like uh, oil level uh, all kind of fluid here is on a good level okay 
brake inspection I have done when I was driving a little bit. It works all fine, no issues with the handbrakes, with the brakes whatsoever. Tire inspections, they are good to go. I still have the winter tires on because I'm working on the van, but the summer tires is indoors and it's in a new condition. So it's completely good. And we have done the reset uh, on the dashboard there uh, after the oil change. So that's pretty much the service A of the van. So either you do it yourself in, let's say two hours in total with setup and everything. If you don't have any issues, just make sure that you have all the tools that you need. I will put a link down in the description to some different things here that I have used today. A quick shower, uh, one liter of oil, a new funnel, and uh, I'm going to take it for a test right now I'm going to drive to uh, like a Mercedes reseller, like Hedin, to see that it runs smooth. For a part yeah. for my sprinter, yes, and I have email here. Ah, yeah, you were the person for the yeah, yeah, just um, didn't have time to okay, okay, so then, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. Okay, I was not driving that good today. Okay, let's check the levels here. The service, the add blue. Okay, good level. The oil level. Oh, okay, somewhere in between. I can definitely put in maybe half a liter, maybe one liter more. <laughs> 